The family of a New York man who died last year claims that he was killed by his Peloton bike. Per the Daily Beast, the mother of 32-year-old Ryan Furtado alleges in a lawsuit that he was doing a core workout on the bike in January of 2022, which required him to get off the bike and continue exercises on the floor. She claims that once he was finished, he used the bike to assist him in getting up, but it, quote, spun around, hitting him on the face and neck, which severed a carotid artery that killed him instantly. She also alleges that when the New York Police Department found him in his apartment with the bike, it was still resting on his neck and face. Furtado purchased the equipment just six months prior in July of 2021. His mother claims that there was only a single warning label on the bike's front leg that the bike could cause injury if used to pull oneself up from the floor during a workout. She says that Peloton should have more adequately warned people. In response to the lawsuit, a Peloton spokesperson tells people that they offer their condolences to the Furtado family for this, quote, unfortunate accident. They add, quote, as a member first company, the health and safety of our our member community as a top priority. The company has also filed a response to the lawsuit denying the allegations and saying that Furtado's alleged injuries or damages were caused or contributed to by his own negligence, which, if true, means that the company would not be legally responsible. Earlier this year, Peloton issued a recall on over 2 million bikes due to safety concerns after multiple users reported that the seat broke and detached from the bike while in use, causing multiple injuries. The company also voluntarily recalled some of its in 2021 after a one-year-old child died in an accident involving the equipment.